Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing awesome actually. So today, welcome back to another Minecraft building tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build this small Minecraft starter house. Let's take a look at it. Ew, you guys are probably saying like, oh god, the shaders, please, go back to shaders, come on. <laughs> oh, man, sometimes it's really good to get a good idea, uh, just as a little tip for you guys, to get a good idea without the shaders of what your build looks like. If you're building in shaders, I know it sort of messes me up, in a way, but maybe that's just me. So I just thought I would share that with you guys as a little, little throw-in tip there, extra you know, you get a little extra little tip there, I don't know, whatever you want to say, but here we have a, the small Minecraft starter house, we're going to be taking a better look at this, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the little cinematic there. Um, a bunch of little outside features here, and I sort of recommend you guys putting these in because, uh, well, simply they don't deserve their own tutorial as, you know, the build does, but they are really nice little features for the outside of the build, and they really help it. Um, in, in some senses, so I, you know, I suggest you add like little features like this, like this is a nice little farm over here, pretty generic, and a little lamp post, you know, uh, little bushes everywhere, outside features, I just have some trees in the background, really helps, um, you know, sort of spruce up the build, so, pretty cool. A lot of the stuff you'll see here, like this little torch you might have seen, has an anvil inside of it, that's pretty expensive just for a little torch feature, um, uh, and you don't have to put that in. That's very exceptional in what you can do. Uh, you can re easily replace the little uh, anvil. You don't even have to have the item frame. You just have the torch there. Uh, this is really just for a design feature. So if you see anything in this build that seems really expensive uh, to get at, as a, like a starter Minecraft house, just ignore it, really. Because it's more for if you just want to build... It's, for, it's more for the people that want to, if they want to build this in creative. At, or, or, you know, they're already pretty advanced in survival, they can have these little nifty little design features for the more expensive survivalists. But if you're just starting out again in Minecraft, then, you know, there you, you just ignore that stuff and carry on. There's not a lot of expensive stuff within the build itself, so... If we walk on in here, I tried to keep it pretty simplistic in the, de in the design of this build. Um, I really did try to focus on interior with this one and really tried to give it something uh, you know, pretty pretty nice to look at. So, a lot of the wool you'll see here, like on the carpet and everything, is pretty easy to get at the start. You can find a lot of sheep that color. So, you know, maybe, you go, maybe you'll get lucky and you'll find a nice little sheep and you shear it, and there you go. Uh, you get that nice little carpet. Get some glass, make yourself a little end table, and then, you know, your bed and your chest, and a little furnace and a crafting table. Now, a lot more can be started, stored in here if you're just looking for, you know, a nice little house to store stuff in or whatever, uh, that's up to you. So really, take this interior as you please and really design it as you go along here. So let's hop into the tutorial part of this video before, but you know, before that starts, I want to kind of explain uh, that there w is going to be a little bit difference, a little bit of a difference with the tutorial for the second half of this video. Um, what I want to try to do is explain the concepts of the build and not really go block by block. I want to sort of go, start to move away from that. Uh, a lot of the times in the past with my tutorials, I really like explain block by block and I, I literally will say each block's name. I know you guys aren't stupid. You guys can just watch the video and you'll understand like the, w what we're going to be placing in the build, you know? So I will, build, I will be building it on a slower pace and hopefully you guys can follow that along in some sense so but in the meantime i still will be talking i still will be kind of just sharing the the idea behind the build and more interesting things to talk about than one singular spruce block you know what i mean so hopefully you guys like that a little bit better tell me what you guys think about that concept in the comments below um with that said let's get right into the tutorial
All right, so as for all the tutorials, make sure to put this layout down in your world somewhere, clear out a space, do something uh, to where you have this little layout down. Now, you want to do this before we get started with the main tutorial because it'll kind of just let the process be a little bit easier and it'll let, you know, sort of me be able to explain what's going on here a little bit easy. So it looks like now we're going to be putting these little logs in the front here. And this will be used for the porch later. You want to make sure you put these andesite blocks in the place where I'm putting them. Because that will give it something in a little bit later. These will be act as like little stabilizers. It's really nice. Uh, the andesite block really works really well for just sort of being as the same use as the, uh, as the logs in, in a build. So whenever you see logs being used in a build, andesite, uh, the polished andesite will work very well. So you can see here I just went around in sort of this rectangle shape it's doing like nice little randomization between the cobblestone and the andesite which really looks nice as well on top of that I'm gonna be putting a little bit more of the logs just to give it a little bit more support for the roof and this is sort of the typical thing that you do for a lot of your builds and everything so it really is uh, nice and just sort of that generic build feel and will fit in with a lot of builds on if you're on a server or something because a lot of people do go along with that. You can see here I'm doing a little starting the porch. Now I want to put sort of this these stairs going around connecting the logs. It's going to give it a nice little feel. And I head over here I'm going to grab a little bit of the spruce wood slabs. I'm just going to place these down in the front and this will act as the stair as you've seen earlier just leading up to the porch area. You see I'm just using half slabs here. You can use full blocks if you want. Don't really matter what we do there. And then right here we're going to have a little bit of the fences. Now this is going to be really nice because we're going to then going to put fence gates, fence gates in these areas in between. Uh, and these sort of are nice because if you notice not every like like part on a porch is it has a sort of post going down it's usually only once in a while um, so the fences just the regular fences we are using as sort of those the post and then the fence gates we're using as the connectors the like the, the stuff that's not going to touch the ground and that this really adds for something really nice so I'm going to put another layer going around on the andesite and cobblestone as you just seen which is really nice, really uh, it's going to raise up the build a little bit and add some more, it lets us leave a little bit more creativity for the exterior as well where we can put like foliage going around and everything. We're going to put in some spruce blocks here just to give it a little bit more because uh, we're gonna, we're kind of getting a little bit on the stone side and you know stone at first isn't going to be too easy to get for in your survival purposes and needs. All right, and now I'm going to be starting on the roof, I believe. We're going to be doing a little bit of the sort of the little end bits here. So on the each end, we're going to do those little logs, and that kind of gives, gives it a nice little feel for that. And then just sort of putting the roof on in your generic fashion. This is just going to slope down. And then once we get over to the porch side, it's going to change up a little bit. You'll see in a minute. So as you can see, I'm turning these logs in towards the, the post because they're going to be held up. Uh, you'll see in a minute, I'll go back and fix this little end bit here just so it's not too crazy. You see on the other house, it's like that as well. There we go, it's fixed. And uh, yeah. So I start by on the, the porch side here. I just start kind of making this arc shape and that's really going to give something a really nice to the porch. It's just going to sort of allow this nice little grand entrance for this little small build, which I, I kind of really like and I like the style of that. Just placing half slabs in here and we're going to fill that out until we get to where we connect up with the, the other stairs or the other part of the roof. And doing the back side as well, just connecting that all up is really going to be 
pretty nifty and it's just basically just building up a roof you know your normal stair roof in minecraft there's just a, the little bit on the front is just a little bit tricky with that but uh, i'm sure you guys are pretty smart to understand that All right, and then we're just about done here. We uh, just got to do the little hangover underneath the roof, which is pretty easy. It's not too difficult. You just got to do the little slab in the front and then just do the, the stairs going on like your generic type of roof, you know? Um, I always recommend putting the under bits to the hangover. It makes it really feel supported and doesn't it doesn't leave it hanging in a way. So it's really nice to just have that little under bit. We're gonna go under here because I actually did forget to put these this little log part in. So we're just gonna come in and fix that once more, putting half slabs in where the porch is. There we go. We're gonna step out and take a look at it and it's looking pretty good, looking pretty good so far. So we wanna get some uh, windows and we also wanna get some uh, a nice little door as well so we can sort of start filling in and start f completing the exterior. And we'll go in and I'll show you some simple little interior stuff that you guys can do. All right, and there we are kind of just putting in a stair. Now I'm leaving that one little corner open because we can we can leave that room for just sort of the put like a crafting table or something in the background just to give it a nice little feel instead of just putting an extra stair there that we really wouldn't need initially. We're just putting the torch on the front as you've seen. And we're gonna grab a, probably a furnace and a crafting table and just our generic necessities for our uh, survival purposes. But yeah, you'll just see here in a minute, I'm just going to place down a bed, just put a couple chests here and there. Um, it's pretty generic. It's nothing too too crazy. So, And, uh, it, you know, you can get a flower pot pretty early on in the in the game if you're interested in doing that. Uh, you can just fill this house up with chests, whatever you want to do. Really, the interior is up to you. Uh, wow, a big painting there. Holy crap. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, you'll see me in here. I'll just start putting supports in as well. Just like a nice little support there just to kind of connect up everything and make it look like it's um, like the roof is actually being supported and it's not going to fall down on us. So uh, it looks really nice there. You can see I had a bigger gap to deal with on the other side. So that was kind of tricky to sort of fit in, but I got it to work. You can see I'm actually just going to put chests inside the walls here because, well, there's stairs above and I'll be able to open up the chest anyway. So that's really nice. And so I can just kind of put like little storage compartments in there. And you'll see I put a, actually a trap chest in there. So if you guys wanted to put a trap chest um, in the little storage compartment, you could do that as well. Whatever you want to do, really. Uh, this is all up to you. What you want to do. Uh, this is such a small little build. It's such a small little area. It's really not that hard to interior decorate. Now, if you want to go like heavy interior, like heavy interior design and come up with fancy little interior stuff, you guys can go ahead and do that. Uh, but really what I was just going for is like what's easy to get in survival right away. Like, you know, a little ga glass pane with it, like a little table, uh, a little carpet or whatever. You maybe have some sheep. Who knows? Whatever you got, just throw it in there and call it a day. Um, but that's really it. And I really do like this house and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So... Uh, let's see what else I got to do here. <laughs> I did it. Expect this. Oh boy, I think we're just putting the torch in. I think that's it. I think we're done here. I think we're done. Are we done? Are we done? Hello? Alright, well that's going to do it for this little tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to be awesome. And I'll see you guys next time.